guys. Working in the garden today, building some beds. Uh, we got dirt, getting ready to fill them. But I wanted to show you the terrible truth about my greenhouse. You can see there are no panels on the roof. Let me show you. So, uh, we had a bad windstorm the other day. We have a chicken that's so upset about it. Good Lord, she's having a fit. She actually just laid an egg, so she's telling everybody. Everybody in the neighborhood, there's nobody around. Anyway, so uh, we had a bad, bad windstorm the other day, and unfortunately, it blew the panels right out of the greenhouse. Even with the door closed, everything was closed. We thought if we closed it up, it would be fine. It was not. They all blew out, except for the window and the bottom panel under the window. So that wasn't very cool. I mean, that wind was really, really rocking. I don't know how, how much it was going, but it said it was going to do, you know, if you look up the weather, it said 30 to 40 mile an hour winds or gusts or so we must have got a big gust and it just found some cracks to to pressurize inside and just pull them out i don't know um but yeah so that's what happened so we've got to find a way to get the panels back in because everything's together now and every piece that you put in and tighten is to keep those panels in and some of them weren't easy. The gutters, the gutters are great. I love that they have gutters and downspouts because I will be able to do some rain catchment. But um, I think that's like the last thing that goes on for the most part. And that holds in the bottom of the, the, uh, the panels. There's a groove in there that kind of they slide into and it holds the bottom and then the top holds the top. And then the sides, of course. And everything's tightened down with screws. And then realizing that these panels are nice and all. But I got thinking about uh, our winters. Um, I don't know if anybody has any suggestions, but once we get the panels on, if we can, without any more damage being done to them, because some of them were damaged a little bit from you know, blowing out, I guess. If we can get them back on, well, you know, it, they're, it's basically cardboard, corrugated clear cardboard, basically. So I think with the snow load that we get, and I was planning on coming out, you know, I do all my chores when, when it snows, I come out and clean off all the coverets, the decks, the, the, you know, I shovel out for the chickens a little bit till we get the tractor going. And I'll end up cleaning this off as well. I feel like that snow load before I even get out here, if it's in the middle of the night, like with the fence, that first storm we had last year, it was so heavy and icy, it totally knocked my fence down. Granted, my fence posts are not the best. They're just trees cut in the woods and I just stick them in the ground and staple wire to them. It's just to keep the chickens out, the deer out the best I can. And um, so it's not, bulletproof obviously or snowproof this isn't going to hold for very long so my thought was that we'd buy some polycarbonate uh actual plastic roofing maybe some wood strips and screw those down and put those in um, and that might help sturdy it up a little bit and then in the winter time when this isn't being used for my plants we can put some braces kind of in the middle or a couple of them in there to hold that roof up just just if it does get enough load before I can get out here and clean it off you know it doesn't cave in on me for some reason we didn't think of that I mean we did we thought it would be stronger but these panels are great for the sides they're not bad but with just a little bit of snow pressure they're not gonna stay so unfortunately this is what happened we're gonna have to take the gutters off I think to get these panels back on I'm um, not looking forward to it because they were the biggest pain in the you know what. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping where this is leveled up now, 
and squared off as much as we could that they'll come off a lot easier and we'll be able to slide them on and off. We were trying to do it on a fairly level ground, but it definitely wasn't screwed down and, and not sturdy. And this sucker is sturdy now. It hasn't blown away, but the panels sure have. So this is what's going on. Got the hound dog out here with me. She wanted to come out and mosey around the garden. Didn't ya? She said, I thought there'd be snacks. There are no snacks out here. No snacks yet, B. I guess I've officially tired the dog out. Uh-oh. Caught you sleeping in the garden. She's like, I wasn't sleeping. Totally was not me. <laughs> oh, B. You're a good garden dog. Okay, guys, hopefully you can hear me. I went in for lunch and to take a shower because I was pretty much done. Started to sprinkle. It stopped for a minute. So um, I wanted to show you guys I filled up my beds, uh, just topped those off. They probably could use a little bit more. This bed's full. I just did this one. Uh, that's all full. And I actually went, when I went to the dump before my shower, I found this guy at the dump. And it was in the metal pile. And I said, hey, um, you know, do you mind if I grab that? Because it does say it have a big sign, no picking through. But it was right on top, right in the front, and I was like, oh, it's got my name all over it. So I, um, he said, yeah, of course, take it. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't care really what condition it's in because I can plant in it. But it's only got a few holes in it on the sides. So in order to plant it, I'm going to have to put some holes in the bottom, which is what I want to do. So that's pretty exciting. I thought that was great. My greenhouse tragedy, that will be fixed. Just not quite sure what we're going to do and Scott's working right now so we're kind of on hold at some point take it apart and try to put the panels back in. I did a couple times but they don't fit right unless you do it the right way and I'm afraid of breaking something even more so he said he had a few ideas so I think we're going to let him uh, think it over and we'll just go with what he thinks we should do with that. At this point my plants are growing in the window, they're getting enough light, things are going well. That's pretty much all that's going on here. I'm just excited to get my beds filled in. But besides that, things are going really well. So I appreciate you guys coming along in the garden with me, checking out my poor greenhouse. But again, we'll get it fixed. That's about it for today. We'll catch you guys later. Like, share, subscribe. Have a good one.